What is up, YouTube world? Uh. Watching Matt, Brent, Mirmit Musings, and uh, Ryan on last night's episode of uh, The Essential Credentials. I got mail in. I haven't opened it, but I got a lot from out of the country, so I'd like to open it live. Share the excitement with you. I only got 17 minutes, so first up, there's this. It's only like a 1 in 12 insert from 94.5 Select, but it's a, I've always loved them. Uh, Youth Explosion Forsberg. That was under two doll hairs shipped. Um, I don't know where to go first. Probstein, as it falls. I got two, four, seven packages. This was cheap. Uh, I tried to bid on a couple other cards. I got oh bid quick. Oh, well, not quickly, but near the end. But this one I didn't, so I was happy. I don't even care if it's an eight; it doesn't matter. But a uh, ninety-six, ninety-seven score artist proof of Patrick Wall. That was under ten bucks. No, it's probably twelve bucks total after shipping and taxes, but. For a Watt Artist Proof, I mean, there's nothing super fancy in the back. Autofocus is way off. Where are you there? Oh, a never-ending disaster with that focus. But... There again, very happy, very, very happy with that price. This stuff. That's a few and far between, so it's been more than I want to draw off on it. And then again, it's it's constant. Everything, everywhere, everybody. This was some of the stuff from the guy that's been selling off the Abreus. Uh, I was able to pick up a few, I was able to pick a few more up afterwards, too. I'm happy with that. Again, I got the ones I really wanted. I, I always like the Pacific stuff. I got smoked on those. Um, so, that's the first one I'm showing. The rest have to be good, right? Got a diamond collection. It's a buyback to 53. You can see there on the right hand side. Close you in a little bit. You know, it doesn't want to focus. Great job, Samsung. Great job, me. <clears throat> so there's that, and then there's this. This is the second of five. Shocked that it didn't go super high. Is that a ding on the card? No, thank you. Uh, top right, it looks like a ding, but that's on the soft sleeve. Mirror Emerald 05, oh no, 05. Yeah, 05. Leaf Certified. Number three of five. So, to get those two, I think all these were like 40. That $40, 40, 41. This stuff, Matt, you watch this stuff. $5? I don't know if it's 5 buck, bucks because it's in the Houston uh, uh, Uni. But the blue foil on the back, which signifies it was not an aftermarket release. That was row through 2. This one is row one. Again, blue foil. And then 98 flare. 99, pardon me, 99. Uh, flare showcase. Legacy. 7 of 99. So again, this market is going up. Um, I've said in previous videos, nobody to blame but myself for not jumping on many years ago when I've been a fan of his for since 94. Uh, bought some team sets off QVC, got I think two or three Astros ones, and then uh, Hidalgo I think was in them, and then Abreu in his first year. So, 
been a fan since, and I've I, it's more of a fan of him instead of the like, card-wise. I've picked up a lot of cards, but not as many as I should have. This one I didn't know if I had. It was just too cheap to let go for a, a couple shekels. What up, zombie? I haven't heard from you in a while. I know we disagree on politics and religion. I like you. You're good people. Still going. Still going strong. I don't know, until the break it down. Ooh, two free good soft sleeves. That's worth the price of admission alone. But out of 96, 7, I think? 97, 8 Donruss Elite. The painted warriors, die cut. Sort of a, a foil board in the front, 2,500. Uh, oh, bro, do you? Got one on the ground. What's that, friend? We're from Florida. That's how you package in some stick styrofoam. And several pieces of tape, too. You pick that up there. It's taped well, so it's not getting out. The first of a few of these. Um, out of 90 score, this is the American version. First rookie, which it's not like, oh my god, it's a cup. Uh, McDavid or a young gun Crosby or a future watch Ovechkin, but Brodeur doesn't have an upper deck rookie. He doesn't have the young guns, so uh, mint nine, it's like eleven dollars. You cannot beat that for one of the greatest goalies of all time, and that's not just me saying it and pumping pumping up the market. That's factual information. That's statistical. <clears throat> Results back up. Now the next three from Russia, Canada, and Canada. So I got three from Canada. This one has a lot of fun on it, so we'll dig into that, friend. Oh, it's jammed. These came relatively quick too. Just surprised that most of the mail has been running slow, which again, COVID. But I'm just glad to get it. This I paid quite a bit on shipping for too. You always like to see it shipped well, but and everything got here. That's what matters. Everything. So I got a Roaring Twenties, and that's out of ninety. 95, 96, this was pretty limited, but it's got that slight doofixy, very minor foil on the whole layer of the card. Um, out of, I think it's fine, or, uh, Stadium Club tops, or Stadium Club? Had the insert for, I think, Bowman's Best. I don't think there was a standalone set that year, but this is the refractor of Brodeur. This is very early in his career. And then the one I wanted, the you know, the yellow sleeve, maybe this will be a recipient of the nice uh, new one. I'll have to clean it up. Oof. Sitting near a construction pile, but uh, score artist proof. Top right corner is not a friend of mine, but I gotta clean it. Seen better days, <clears throat> especially for I think 15 bucks. That was not entirely what I expected when I saw the scan. So I have a chat with that young eater. Next up, more Canadian. From 
in Gloucestershire. Oh, this is a nice one. Patch leaves a lot to be desired, but at the same time, I saw. I was glad I got it too because I saw a couple people on the Hobby Inside, at least one. One was saying they're going after this cool, uh, set. So I was like, oof, glad I got in on it and don't have to worry about a little bit anymore, even though it's a one color patch. Out of 0304 uh, UD Trilogy, Martin Brother patch. Not numbered. I'm not sure if there's a stated print run or not, but. It's nice to always have a one of those. The upper deck stuff is always just so nice. Like there's a lot they swung and missed on too, but a lot of this stuff is just visually some of the best ever. And now we go to the motherland. Lucia. Fedor Emelianenko. I know what it is, but I mean glad it's finally here. The, all the cool Russian on there. It is ways to thwart presidential candidates in the 2020 election. I'm getting my handbook for that. <clears throat> this was a buy it now, whenever it was. Beginning of June, I think. And I was super, I was like, oh my, because I've seen a couple go off, and I was like, oh, shit, I need to transfer funds, <clears throat> because whatever reason, the regular PayPal out of my checking will not just go directly into, uh, I can just buy it, something from that's uh, international, so I'm, I was hoping and praying that nobody hit the bin on this because it was cheaper than a lot had went. I think the first one I showed Eric was six fifty-five. And I thought that was a lot. Oh, wow, that's a lot for this kind of card. I didn't think this would go that much. And then the next one was like a buy it now of I think over a hundred and that sold. So I don't know if it sold for the hundred, but I know it sold. Looks like we got some card, a pack of cards in here too. This is awesome. I just flummox for it now. And at least the guys have been calm or uh, telling me, like, hey, I have four minutes left. So I'll show this first. It's a bonus of like some pack over there. I don't know if it's a KHL. <laughs> That's an awesome whatever's going on there. I, I love that. But the card in question, it's a big one for the Patrick Waugh collection. Um, take it out of the top loader here. Super happy it came. Again, it's, it, it's, not, I don't, it's not that you don't trust the people to send it. It's just you always trust the process of getting it sent to you in these troubled, unsettling times. <clears throat> but 95 96 Pinnacle Zenith, one of the best cards. Oh, I just dance. Let's, let's keep it where it is. Some blocking there. That's a Z team. So happy this finally came. Um, who's the dude? I know. Lexi. Lexi, if you're watching, thank you very much, man. This is a, just. Stunning copy of the card. In the back, as you know, it's that mirror, the foil finish. So. It's that doofix. Oh, everything. One of the best inserts of all time. I mean, any sport this year was just Grand Slam, hat trick. 400 yard game, whatever you want to have. It just the best. 
inserts of all time, probably top five. They've held their value, <clears throat> at least hockey-wise. They're... Try to find one. Good luck. Try to find one at a good price. Try to find one at a cheap price. Good luck. So again, um, a lot of stuff. Uh, Mondays are always the fun, the fun day of the week for uh, <clears throat> cards because I usually pay for everything on a Wednesday. So you figure in transit, it gets here four or five days. So it's always fun to bust open the P.O. box and just see a magnitude multitude of awesomeness. And when it's these two guys, you can't beat that. I think I got this for like 70, 72 shipped, so, again, I see Jeremy from Sports Card Lives, Sports Cards Live is going to have Dr. Beckett on, I think near the end of the month, I want to ask when their antiquated system of pricing is going to go away and when they can have, I don't need real-time pricing, I need, at least from the last year pricing, I don't need stuff that's 20 years old, or Josh Johnson cards are $12 and Rich Hill autos are 30 that's not real time. That's make believe. So, enjoy everyone. If you're watching this on Hobby Insider. Hope you enjoy some of this hockey shine. It is gorgeous. Take her easy, YouTube. She's easy. Take her twice.